All right, guys, what we're going to talk about today is freeze damage is coming up this weekend. We went to Home Depot. We bought this cover right here for $27, 12 by 16. You can also get a 12 by 10 for $17. This is a five mil. Do not get the two or the three mil. It's too thin. It's going to rip and tear because it's going to get a little windy outside. On the last video about if you're not going to cover it, uh, we did skip to talk about the heater and where the drain ports are. So if you had a heater box in this area, on the back side, there's a panel. You open that panel, there's a plug in the back of it. You undo that one. And then where the two pipes come out in the front, on the bottom side, there's going to be a drain port. You want to drain that out. Uh, so we'll try to see if we can cut that into the, the old video and add in that on a heater. And we'll try to get another updated version of this. Uh, as well to talk about doing it with a heater and a spa. Back to this video. Uh, we're going to demonstrate how to cover this up. So we're going to rip this open. We're going to lay this uh, cover out. Biggest thing is remember don't turn the heater on while you got it covered and don't try to heat your water. Hot water freezes faster than cold water. Been doing this about 30 years. About 30 years covering these up. I have not had any tools freeze yet or any equipment as long as we've had electric. Right, so we've got this kind of laid out. If we had a heater here, we would bring it across the heater. The, the weakest link in the whole thing is gonna be the spa valve and the back of the heater. So if you're bringing it, bring it around the back of the heater. Once you're done laying it out across everything, you wanna put down some stones, make sure you hold it down so that the wind doesn't turn around and blow it up. Find you some good points. So you can use bricks, stones, whatever you can do to kind of hold it down and hold it in place. Guys, you can see that we went all the way around. We got lots of stones to hold it down. So we got lots of stones to hold it all down. That's how you want to keep it uh, covered up during the winter. As long as it's running, you should be good to go. We'll see you when it gets warm.